Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah of So Livy Dies Yarn, and I wanted to bring this special edition video um, just to show my plans for 2022. Um, I made myself a Make 9 for 2022, um, and I thought I'd talk about them a little bit just in case you were curious um, what. I plan to make. I mean, this is just a very small amount of things that I want to make. I have a whole bunch, which could be a whole nother video of, I could pull everything down that has a pattern project attached to the yarn up on my stash up there, but I think that'd be a really long video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you my make nine for 2022 and, um, yeah, go from there. I don't plan to start everything immediately. What I think I might do actually is take these nine projects, put them in a like decision roulette type app on my phone and spin it. And then that'll determine which one I can start. And I think with these, I don't know if I want with these um, that I can't start the next one until the first one is finished. Um, and I'll be able to start anything else I want in between or if I want to start three of these because I have three like categories and then I don't know see there's a lot of possibilities there's a lot of possibilities so yes um <laughs> yeah I also have two more videos that I plan to do this week before New Year's um that I would like to share with you. One is a year in review. So everything I've knit on this year, like knit and finish, and then maybe a whip parade. I'm unsure what, about that. A whip parade is um, where you just show your whips that you currently have on the needles. Um, I don't know. That's kind of like, for me, that's not as big or exciting as like a cross dip cross stitch whip parade which is a pretty big thing in the cross stitch community on YouTube um, I haven't worked on almost any of my cross stitch this year sadly so I'm not sure about the whip parade one we will see but the year in review is a big one because I did make a lot of things this year I need to go ahead and total things up get numbers you know all that stuff um, so yeah but for right now just make nine. Thought I'd show you what I plan. Maybe you'll get inspired and want to start one of these things as well or make your own make nine. You could do a make nine if you have a lot of whips. Um, so you could go ahead and put your whips into a make nine and then you know make a goal to try to finish them in 2022. Um, especially if you have more than nine whips you know could help you snowball it <laughs> you know uh, anyways uh, let's go ahead and dive in I don't have anything printed so I will be inserting photos of each project I plan to start <laughs> sorry words I am terrible at them um, so let's go ahead my make nine my inspiration was to pick most of these, most of these patterns have been in my stash for a very long time. Um, this one, this one, this one, and this one are um, newer patterns that have been in my stash. I have been wanting to make this one for over a year now. So I just recently purchased the pattern, but I have wanted to make this since December last year. But this one was newer. Um, but I have the yarn for it, the, that one and this one as well. So I just thought I'd throw them in there. Plus, um, I did it in, like I said, categories. So these three up here are sweaters. These three are shawls. And then these are like the accessories. So fingerless mitts and two pairs of socks. That's what these are. And, um, I thought I'd give myself a good mix of items to knit on. I have plenty of more sweaters in my stash that um, I want to start as well. So I thought I'd get the oldest stash out um, first. So oldest stash for me is either oldest pattern 
um, or or the pattern that has like I had meant to start a long time ago and just kind of got distracted by woo, new shiny things so we'll go ahead and start with the sweaters so the first one that I have on my list is the Traveler's Pullover by um, Tiffany Lynn and I'll show a lovely picture here I bought this pattern a while ago I even dyed the yarn for this so and this has just been sitting in my stash so I'll go ahead and keep inserting the photo if I need to refer back to it but as you can see it's a light colored pullover with a really beautiful I think it's a fisherman's rib uh, collar with the dark I had planned to do mine almost reverse so my main color will be this green that I dyed and then where it's dark I will put in this light sand color that I did for a contrast so I thought that these would be good. Um, these are both DK, DK weight yarns. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of getting it cast on. There's nothing else I can really say about the yarn because I, it's mine. It's, <laughs> um, I believe it's 100%, I believe it's 100% super wash merino wool. If not, it's a 75, 25, 75, 20, yeah, 75, 25 super wash merino nylon blend. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have any tags on it. It's just in my stash. But if I'm correct, this is the first DK I ever purchased, like bare DK, and I believe it was 100% superwash merino. So this will go into the Traveler Pullover again by Tiff Nealon. My next sweater on my Make Nine is Skylights by Tannis um, Fiber Arts. I actually started this one earlier in the year with a dark green and black yarn, but it was so dark you couldn't see the cable paneling on the front. So I was like, well, it's pointless to keep going. Let me go ahead and rip it out and dye yarn to um, go for this, this pattern. Um, so I did something similar to what Tannis uh, used. Tannis dyed her own yarn for her sweater as well. So I dyed something similar, but not exact. Um, and this is what I have. And I never cast it back on. So it's time for that. Um, it is a chunky weight. Again, I don't know the fiber content of this. I would have to go ahead and look it up. I am not sure but it's light gray when I have yellow, red, and blue speckling throughout. Um, so yeah, I am I would like to get that sweater, that bulky sweater cast on. Get some big, beautiful cables going on on the, on the front. That is four skylights. Um, and then the last sweater on my make nine is called Laurel and I'm not sure who it's by I'm sorry I will put it on here along with the picture of course so um, my friend Jen purchased me some well I paid her and she bought me the spin cycle when she was in Virginia um, a while back and so I was like can you get me two skeins because that's what my size calls for in the pattern so she got me this one, Spin Cycle Yarns. It is called The Saddest Place. Um, it's 100% American wool, super wash, 200 yards, sport weight. So I think that's what, 50 grams? I don't know, it doesn't say how many grams this is. Either way, it's this really beautiful blue and purple um, spin cycle it's really gorgeous and then I have some bare sport weight yarn um, that I plan to do with this so I had thought about dyeing this maybe a pale gray but I was like I don't know so I just left it plain and we'll see we will see I will start when I cast this on we'll see how how I like it together um, if the this bare color works um, for me but yeah, I have this in stash. 
this beautiful spin cycle. I would love to use it. So I need to get that cast on too. So yeah, I really do think I'm going to go ahead and make a wheel and get this, you know, get them all populated in there and then spin and see what gets started first. Okay, um, my next row is a row of shawls. <laughs> and this one, I purchased the yarn for back in October of 2020 bought this while I was in Wisconsin visiting my dad and stepmom and I'm not sure if I had a plan for it when I purchased it but I very quickly <laughs> realized what I could turn this into um, when I got back home so this is the Wanderlust wrap by Tiffany Lynn because I really love her designs um, there's two options for this shawl there is um, I think it's a two color version and then you could also use a mini set and a single skein version as well so I got these from the local yarn store near my dad um, this is the Manostel Uruguay Uruguay I don't know it doesn't roll off my tongue very easily and it's the Fino base which is 70% merino wool 30% silk it's in these beautiful colors right here and I got this single skein same stuff this is called porcelain and these are the it says FM09 Irene in the 424 410 420 416 and 438 so yeah this will be the wanderlust wrap by Tiffany Lynn I think it's more of like a, it looks like a shawl, but I think you join it in the back to make it a cowl. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I thought this would be really nice. These are all singles. This is a single spun. Yeah. It's not plied at all. So that'll be really nice to knit with. It's been a while since I've used um, just a single ply of yarn and this is all so soft. So that'd be really nice to get cast on and get this out of my stash since it is over a year old in stash. Uh, next one is the Pearl Soho. What is it called? I see I don't have the names written here on this, so it's hard for me to remember. Uh, I forget what they call it. Is it just triangle wrap? <laughs> it's one that everybody does where it's two different colors of the triangle. It's like a big square and you fold it in half diagonally and it anyways it's free pattern um, I've been wanting to make one of these for a while but I really just wanted to get the call for yarn for it and then earlier this year there was a sale so I went ahead and I got the yarn half and half wrap that's a half and half triangle wrap that's what it's called <laughs> sorry the half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho and it uses linen quill which is the Pearl Soho yarn um, it is a 50% fine highland wool 35% alpaca and 15% linen it has a lot of uh, linen debris still in it which is fun <laughs> but these are the colors that I chose so this one right here is called oatmeal gray and this one is peach stone I don't think this one was my first choice of color but um, I think my first choice was all sold out, but this was a really pretty second option. And I think it'll be really lovely to wear. So I'm going to make the, the big one. So it's three skeins of each. These are 100 grams each, 439 yards. So it's going to be pretty big and it's so soft. That's why I want to buy more of this because even though I haven't knit with it yet, I absolutely love the way that this feels. So I'm going to want a sweater's quantity of this for something. It's just, I need to, I need to figure out what sweater, but this will be my half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho. This one's going to take a while to knit. That's for sure. Last, um, last shawl I have on my list is, is fairly new, um, stash pattern wise and yarn wise. Actually, I don't even have all the yarn yet. Um, I have to dye the the second color for this I just haven't gotten around to it I think I'll probably do it when I get ready to start this but it is the Giselle shawl by 
Is it Cami Jo Knits? Is, see, I can't pronounce it the way that she does. Um, she's a Danish um, designer. She just started recently dyeing yarn as well. But she, and she's been wearing this shawl a lot in her vlogmases, which is really nice. But um, it is another like half and half type shawl where one half is a mohair lace detail. And then the underside, I believe, is just garter in a... DK weight yarn I think I have to go in and double check that's why you know I haven't dyed it yet but um yeah so I got I wanted to try this since I've heard a lot about it it's hobby hobby Diablo it's 30% mohair 30% nylon and 40% acrylic so I ordered this from hobby earlier in the year and I got it in this pink color um I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a really dark gray to have underneath this. Um, that's kind of what's in the picture. I really like it. So I thought I would try it. Plus this stuff is really expen or inexpensive. So um, yeah, at some point this will get cast on as well. But I only have this. Like I said, I don't have the other color yet. But I figured, like I said, gray will probably be the best bet. Um, yeah. Okay, and now for accessories, I do not have any of the yarn because I think I'm going to pull from stash or not stash. I meant like my scrap yarn. I'm going to pull scrap yarn and see what I can come up with for this, but it's the, um, underwing mitts. I'm not entirely sure who it's by, but, um, I happened across these last year when I was making some mitts for my friend, fingerless mitts, and I thought these were absolutely gorgeous and I really wanted to make a pair for myself. It just hasn't happened yet. Um, so yeah, I think um, I just wanna pull some scraps and make a pair. Probably as similar to what is in this picture as possible, but we will see. My next ones are the Nello socks house socks by uh, Tiffany Lynn. So I have three Tiffany Lynn patterns on here. I bought this one sometime last year as well, I believe, or January of this year. I'm not entirely sure. I think they're beautiful. I love the little tassel that's on these. Um, I don't have any yarn right now because I plan to just pull from stash because I have a few single skeins, but I think this pattern calls for you to hold yarn double so I need to uh, figure out what I'm going to do not sure yet with my stash <laughs> but I've been meaning to cast these on for a while so that's why I made made my list and my last one definitely new stash new pattern but um, I fell in love with these when I saw them on Instagram I even pre-ordered the yarn for it and it came finally. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the Alley Socks by, I know her, she's Esnitz on Instagram, but it's the Alley Socks in the Call For yarns that she used, which are Explorer Knits. This one is Explorer Knits. It's in the Denali Sock and the colorway is called Linen. The Denali sock is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. That's this color right here. And then this one is the Arcadia. It's in, again, the Denali sock 8020. It's Ar Arcadia National Park. Acadia? Yeah, there's no R in there. So Acadia National Park. I believe these were dyed up specifically for these socks, but. I'm not entirely sure. I just know it's absolutely gorgeous. The socks are beautiful, so I plan to get these cast on at some point as well. Really nice, really nice. So those are my Make Nines. Um, like I said, I also have a bajillion other projects that need to get started as well, but I wanted to get kind of the older stuff out and not make it completely all sweaters. So yeah that is what i have planned for 2022 we are going to see how this works hopefully i can get that finished plus a lot more and yeah i'm sorry if my video is not like perfect but 
make nine. If you want to join me, um, go ahead. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna make any sp special hashtag. I don't think I'm gonna do any special hashtag. It's just gonna be hashtag make nine. That way, anybody else who's making one as well, we can all just tag tag it if we want, and we can see what everybody else is making. But. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and uploaded and then put everything into a wheel because I don't know if I'm going to start on, I don't know if I'm going to start on the 1st, January 1st, or if I'm going to wait until I have some of my other whips done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Alright guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. Uh, YouTube looks at those thumbs downs and actually boosts the video, is what I've heard recently. So, that'd be great. Get my channel out there a little bit more. Um, and... Um, if you want to comment, that'd be great. Um, I read all the comments. And yeah, <laughs> sorry. Just, I don't know how to end these. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.